When Troy Buswell smashed into Shelley's Barina during his wild ride through the streets of Subiaco in February, the government's sympathy was all with Mr Buswell. From that day to this, Shelley's been without a car. Now the government's insurer, Risk Cover, has sought to put a lid on this acutely embarrassing incident by offering Shelley $3,000 if she doesn't talk to any press, television or radio. A hush money payment uh, to ensure that this matter doesn't appear in the media again. This is an outrage. And despite nearly six months having to walk or catch public transport, Shelley has to agree not to commence any action, suit or proceedings against Mr Buswell. Well, risk cover are acting like Mr Buswell's lawyers, not like the state insurers. By giving up her right to take legal action, it removes any threat of Mr Buswell having to answer questions about the night he drank at a wedding, then drove home, hitting four other cars on the way. Under the risk cover offer, Shelley gets to keep the wreck, which they've valued at $321 at the wreckers. It had cost him most of that to get it towed. The Premier says the claim is being settled in a normal way. And, and it, it, you know, there is nothing untoward uh, other than the incident itself, but in terms of the claim and the repairs to the vehicle, that is normal practice. This is an extraordinary document. Uh, Mr Barnett said, where's the proof of a cover-up? This is Exhibit A. Jeff Parry, 7 News.